What are we, capital W, going to do about anti-Asian scapegoating violence? This is a question for all of us. 73-year-old grandmother pushed onto the tracks. First, we can speak out against anti-Asian scapegoating. There has to be a shift in consciousness and a prioritization of this work because this is not going to end. This is not going to stop. But bringing people together in community and knowing they got each other's backs, if something like this happens again or when it will happen again, we'll be able to step up and we'll, we, will, we will condemn and we will stand up. And so we got to do that as a community to model that. And I think that's that's the that's also the the culture and legacy that De Anza has is it has a it has the culture of social justice work and that's part of our that's part of our institutional fabric. We can develop skills as bystanders. We can all learn the five D's of bystander intervention: distract, delegate, document, delay, and direct. To grow an Asian American this perspective, it does help to talk to people, to talk to Asian Americans, to listen, to ask questions, and to care about what's said. Our Student Rights and Services Committee has a student feedback form that is completely anonymous in which um, students can tell us what their needs are and include contact info um, if they would like to and we will reach out with further support and information. We know that women are reporting harassment almost two and a half times more than men. And we know that 60% of the Asian Americans who are targeted are not Chinese. Without this public reporting, we wouldn't have this evidence. So we can share this information. Submitting these reports to websites that will track them, it, it will, I think it'll definitely help um, people realize that Asian Americans are struggling during this time. To hear the stories and to listen to the voices of those who experienced anti-Asian aggression connects us to our shared humanity. Empathy is a key piece to that. Uh, empathy is this human capacity for, for imagining, for connecting with what else, what is going on with this person who is outside of my skin, who is not me, uh, but how can I imagine what their experience is like? Can I connect with that? And five. We can create spaces of dialogue and healing with the aim of sustaining ourselves for the long fight of anti-racism. In, in order to, have, to truly have a vision for creating a different world and, and, a, and a more just and humane and loving world, like we have to do that now. We have to learn, you know, how do we heal ourselves? How do we hold each other so that we can, uh, so that we can heal collectively together? So these are the five things we can do about anti-Asian scapegoating violence. One, we can speak out ourselves and ask our leaders to speak out. Two, we can develop our bystander skills to intervene. Three, we can share information and the research that's being generated. Four, we can listen to stories and cultivate our empathy. And five, we can create spaces of dialogue to affirm our humanity.